This is EdTech Moment, where we take just a moment to help you integrate technology into your classroom. Today on the show, we're talking about customizing your Google Sites. Greetings and welcome back to EdTech Moment. I'm your host, Tim McKean, and today we're taking our second step in the process of building your class website using the Google Sites. Today we're picking up where we left off after last week we set up our basic pages and got some uh, basic structure to our site and today we're going to start learning how to customize. We're going to look at themes and some colors and fonts. And in fact, Teresa Iguanas writes us on Twitter and she says, I'd love some easy how to customize videos. It's not very intuitive and sometimes frustrating. So hopefully, Teresa, today we can make it not so frustrating and hopefully it'll make a little bit more sense how we can customize our sites. So here I am on uh, our site just as we left off. Now, when I want to start customizing the site, the first thing I do is I come up to the upper right hand corner and find the more menu and then scroll on down the menu there and come to where I can uh, choose the link that says manage site. And that's gonna bring me into my basic site management window there. Here's again where we can change all those settings that we kind of had a little bit of opportunity to look at at the beginning as we set up the site. We can always come back, change our permissions, change our general information, all that kind of stuff right here as well. But the one that I want to do first is come all the way down to the bottom and choose themes. Now Google gives us some basic themes that we can choose from and you can feel free to browse through these themes and maybe choose one that has the same kind of layout that you're looking for or some colors that you like. Um, for example, if I wanted to see this one that uses the yellow legal pads, I could click on it there and come up to the button that says preview and it'll actually generate a preview of what my site will look at using that theme with my title, my links and all that stuff right there. This is just a graphic, nothing's been saved yet. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close that. And if I wanted to use that theme, and then I could come up here and hit the save button. Or I can continue browsing through, looking for different things. Let me try this blue microprint. I can also preview by clicking on this little uh, spyglass icon here. And again, I can see how my site looks with my pages, my title, and all that stuff there. I'm going to go ahead and go with this blue microprint theme for now. So I'm going to go ahead and click save. Okay, The window up here tells me my changes have been saved and I have to click on this link to get back to the site. Now I can see that my site's changed. I've added that theme. So that's one of the most easy ways to come in and start customizing using the themes that Google has given us. Let's go back to that window and take a look at that one more time. Manage site. And at the very bottom of the menu here is the themes. One of the things I will warn you is that if you click over here on this button, browse more themes, I have never gotten that one to work. And it always causes me to have to shut down my browser and restart. So I recommend that you don't do that. Okay, stick with the themes that uh, Google has given you. The next thing that I can do for customizing my site if I wanted to get more detailed into the customization is I can come into the section called colors and fonts. Under this section in colors and fonts I can view my theme and I can actually switch themes from right inside there as well so I'm going to go ahead and keep it on a micro blueprint and then the next area here shows me all the different things that I can customize. So I'm not able to customize everything I might possibly want but anything that's on that list I can customize. So if I want to change the background color, I can click here on background color, and then I have the option that you I can use the theme default, or I can choose a custom color. I can choose from this palette. So if I want it to have a gray background, then you can see, I can see what that's gonna look like with a gray background. If I want a black background, I can click that and see what that's gonna look like with a, a black background. And if you know anything about hexadecimal uh, color codes, then you can actually type custom color codes into this box as well. Um, and if you do some web searching about that, you can learn uh, to, that there's an individual code for pretty much any color that you can think of. Um, so you can choose off the palette or you can do a little research, find the hexadecimal code for the color you want and type that code right in. I can change the background image. I can change the fonts. So let me go ahead and change the font. Okay. Again, I can always have the default theme or I can customize. The nice thing is here that if I play with this and I try some things, so let me, instead of having a normal font, I want to have this Acme font. Okay. Well, I could see what that's going to look like. And if I don't like it, I always have the chance to come back up and click the button that says 
use the theme default and it always goes right back so that's nice because I can get in there I can play a little bit and not have to worry that I'm really gonna screw up the site because I can always go back to the default thanks for watching EdTech moment be sure to visit our website at edtechmoment.com for more helpful tutorial videos like this one EdTech moment is brought to you by audible.com visit our special link at audibletrial.com slash edtech moment to set up your free trial account and download your first book Keep your account, download a book every month. It's a great way to get caught up on reading. Bring reading back into your busy life with audible.com. You can also support us on our website. We have a tip jar. We are grateful for any amount that you are willing to give. And we hope that EdTech Moment has brought value into your life. You can also support us by heading over to iTunes, subscribe to our podcast feed in the iTunes store, and give us a review. The reviews help others to find out about the show as well. Tweet to us at EdTechMoment on Twitter get your questions answered we'd love to hear what you think about the show and what you'd like to know and as always thanks for taking just a moment